Welcome back to the Garrett Ashley Mullet Show. I am, of course, your host, intrepid or otherwise, Garrett Ashley Mullet, coming to you from Greeley, Colorado. Today, we've got a special treat for you in the form of the Wheel of Time trailer. Amazon Prime, Prime Video, if you will, has endeavored to bring Robert Jordan's epic fantasy novel series, and when I say epic, I mean absolutely epic, very long, very original fantasy novel series to the small screen, to their streaming service. I think this is a great idea on their part. I think it's genius. I think that if you've got Netflix doing the Witcher series and you've got HBO doing Game of Thrones, it stands to reason that Amazon has got to keep up with the Joneses and so they're going to do Wheel of Time. I hope they do a good job of it. I've read the whole series. It took me a year, year and a half to listen through on audiobook. I very much enjoyed Wheel of Time. So I have some idea, if they stay faithful to the books, I have some idea where this is going. I'll try not to do any spoiler business for those of you who are unfamiliar, who haven't read the books, but I am going to just go ahead and queue up this and we will do some reacting. Let's see what it's all about, shall we? Be strong. The nice. wheel of time turns, and ages come and pass, leaving memories that become legend. I like the art. Okay, so we've got Rosamund Pike here. I'm going to guess as Moiraine. Moiraine is one of the main characters in The Wheel of Time. I won't give too much away, but she's very important. You might say she serves a similar role to that of Obi-Wan Kenobi or Gandalf. She's the stand-in stand, stand uh, archetype, sage, wizard, sorceress type character. And so I think that's a neat pick. I think she has a kind of gravitas. I like her as an actress. I thought she did a fine job in Pride and Prejudice, although this is obviously a very, very different role. I know she's done other things, so everybody calm down. But she's got a gravitas. She's got a dignity to her that I think fits. And you can hear her as she's kind of narrating the trailer here. So... I like what I'm seeing so far. I'll just say that. I'll say that up front. I like the art. I like that they're doing this in much more of a Lord of the Rings uh, scale. I think that's a better fit than, say, The Witcher, which is much more personal. It's much more zoomed in. I don't remember when I watched season one of The Witcher. I don't remember these big zoomed out epic shots but I think it's a good idea for Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time is epic and it is macro in addition to being micro. Whereas I would say The Witcher is much more zoomed in. Game of Thrones is just a bloodbath. But uh, Wheel of Time, I like it so far. Let's see what else we've got here. The power inside you. All over the world, there are different names for it. But it's one thing. One power. And women who can touch it. We protect the world. No matter what happens, we face a heartbreak the wheel keeps turning so that gentleman if memory serves 
he was a feature in Game of Thrones, wasn't he? For a while. I mean, everybody dies in Game of Thrones, so he wasn't there from beginning to end. But I, I seem to remember him being in Game of Thrones. It's been a few years, but... Um, yeah, they're, they're borrowing some actors, which is okay. That's fine. And if they borrow some stylistic things, that's okay. But again, I mean, Wheel of Time is its own animal. It's its own franchise. It's not Lord of the Rings. It's not Game of Thrones. It's not The Witcher. It's certainly not The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It's its own piece. It's got its own flavor. The characters progress differently. They have much more of a modern feel to them, I would say. Uh, much less formal, for the most part. Uh, much more contemporary. Maybe that's how to put it. But then also that's, that's somewhat the premise. Not to give too much away, but that's somewhat the premise of the Wheel of Time is that everything is cyclical. It just goes around and around in a kind of revolution. And Well, I'd, I'd, here, here you go. I mean, see, look at this. We've got these folks spinning around in a circle that's symbolic uh they're kind of teasing a little bit that that's what this is about it's about the wheel of time wheel the wheel keeps on turning one age feeds into another into another and things just repeat themselves over and over again so let's continue we're just about halfway through but so far it's interesting it seems like they're stressing kind of a women's empowerment thing which is par for the course these days. Let's see what else we've got going on here. The Dark One is coming for your friends. The last battle is coming. The only thing that matters is what you do. Whatever happens now, there's no turning back. All right. Okay. So I... And cautiously optimistic. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that this is a good thing, that this goes well, that they do it justice. Uh, yeah, there's lots of things in the mix these days besides the author's original intent, besides the way that something was originally written. Again, I'm not privy to the scoop. I have not been following this. I, I've got a wife and seven kids and a full-time job, and I do this on the side. So when I react to that, I'm reacting honestly. I read the books, enjoyed them, took a while. But uh, hopefully they do the series justice because it, it is quite a story. And they could go a long time with it. They could have a lot of seasons if they so choose. Uh, if they, I think, are faithful to the series, they should be able to attract a, a pretty devoted fan base and have people coming back for more and more. Another interesting thing here too, wasn't Amazon also going to be doing a Lord of the Rings series? Maybe that's going to be simultaneous. That's that's going to be something. I think that's supposed to be set in the age prior to the events of the Lord of the Rings trilogy and The Hobbit and whatnot. But that's quite an undertaking for them to be tackling both at the same time. They're really going for going for broke there. Uh, but if you know some more about this, if I said anything amiss, you think it was fantastic, you think it was horrible, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you liked this video, hit like, hit subscribe. If you want to hear me talk about everything, I am Garrett Ashley Mullet. I want to talk about everything. That's movies, music, books. Politics, philosophy, theology, what have you. If it's happening, I think it's worth talking about. So if you subscribe to this channel, you'll hear me talk about 
pretty much everything. That's all I've got for this episode. As always, thank you for listening. Until next time, God bless.